Hi everybody, hope you're well. Hope you're keeping your strength and positive energies flowing. Um, this is truly a challenging time, but with the lockdown starting to ease off um, and work starts on various stages from next week, things will start to well, look more positive. Um, but until then, and until we can start to recoup and rebuild our lives and get back to normalcy for whatever that means to all of us because we're never really going to have that life again. Um, things are going to forever change. Um, I think we just have to be as positive as possible um, and that is going to get us through. I know for some families, well for most families, it, it is a very frightful frightfully scary as to what the imminent future holds. Um, we get, I get personally a lot of calls, um, both from existing clients and many from complete strangers who get my number um, wanting some advice and a lot asking for some sort of help, you know, a very, very basic food parcel that would last a few days um, because things are quite bad out there. Um, and. Yeah, so I think, you know, it's, this will pass. Um, we just have to be very, very positive and just make sure that um, whatever we do going forward, um, you know, it's decisive and we, we don't put ourselves into a further predicament, which lends me to this video. I think going forward, the degree to which we get our lives back, our lives that we are accustomed to, like I said, whatever that may be, because it's going to be a change, is going to be dependent on how much money a family's household has. With retrenchments, with short time, with changes and reductions in salary that's expected, with the family's household um, monies that they have, you know, just to get by, is going to drastically be reduced. Um, Yes, there are payment holidays and there are various other um, plans that are service providers are put into place, but these are going to be temporary measures. Um, it's not going to last forever. Families will be turning also to loan sharks, uh, and in my view, this is going to put them into a, a much more difficult position. Um, which comes to this video, and hopefully, you know, families will be turning to get divorced simply to access their pension fund payouts. Now, let me first off say this is not a practice that I advocate. This is not a practice that I'm trying to in some way support. I'm just saying that this is a reality because a family that has no financial means can't access any further credit um, who would already will consider and this does happen, will consider getting divorced simply to access 50% of their partner's pension fund. Now, this is an entitlement by law, so um, when parties do get divorced, um, it's not, and this does happen. Um, the court is doesn't go and interrogate someone and say, well, are you really, really getting divorced because the marriage has broken down? or?" Are you getting divorced simply because you want the pension fund? This, is, this doesn't happen. So all that's required when parties get divorced is they have to literally file papers, go into the, uh, go to court, go into the witness box, just put their hands up and swear that their marriage is broken down and they want to be divorced. It's not fair upon the court and the court doesn't see it as a responsibility to interrogate and be categorical that this is the reason that there is a genuine breakdown. So this happens. And this practice is likely to increase because families will have no means um, to get access to immediate funding. And yes, this will happen and there will be some funding that they could get. But this is something that would, in my view, result in the family being far more destitute or in a financial predicament later because there isn't any further monies that were provided for at a different at a later stage in their life so my advice to people that may be considering this is don't um, in my view you'd be putting yourself 
and your family at further jeopardy and the risks that you may not recover from. Consider other options. Um, if you've exhausted all other means, consider, you know, debt counselling. Now, I'm not here to try and sell my practice. I'm here to sell the concept of debt counselling because debt counselling is in fact something that a process by which how much you pay per month to your creditors gets reduced between 40 and 60 percent. There's no need, if you do that process, to, to apply for further loans. There's no need for further credit. Um, you would have sufficient to live a comfortable life during the short temporary period, giving you the, during the, sh the short time that you need this breathing space. Um, so you don't have to put your family at risk. You don't have to risk your pension, which is designed to, com to comfortably carry you through your latter part of your life. Um, this is something that I implore on people to consider carefully because I think that the risk that you put yourself and your family through later would be irreparable um, and that the relief you get now would be a very would be short-lived you know if you're not sure about your options give us a call uh, let's see if you you know have other options and we will look at your cir your cir circumstances we'll look at all the legal options that could be applicable to you and give you options that you know, you could make a better informed decision on. I wish you all strength. I wish you all courage during this time. And hopefully um, this will pass a lot sooner than anticipated. Until then, um, you're free to give us a call. Um, stay well. God bless and be safe.